not bad. Come on, little man. He's always a little bit naughty trying to catch him. Good boy. Come on. Went out for a few hours this morning in his paddock and he was very bright, very happy. Tonight it's a rising sun race, uh, one of the biggest races in Queensland for harness racing. And uh, we're just uh, loaded up and getting ready to go. He loves him. He's his fourth child. <laughs> He really liked Colt 31 and Majestic Mac, but you can just tell the difference in him with this guy. He's just knows he's something else. Oh, look, it's probably one of the biggest races he's been in, but you know, it's he's got a lot of big races that go ahead of him, so it's where obviously we want to win this one. It's it's important, but there's more bigger fish to fry yet. How often do you get a horse that's won three derbies in Australia? He's the sort of horse that we've lived and breathed for the 50 odd years we've been in the sport. He's only a four year old so far, but as he develops into the five and six year old and he goes into these major races, I think you're gonna see a very, very high performance for animal that I think will be hard to beat on the entire Australian circuit. He's a bit of a handful going out on race morning and then even like when you get him ready to come in, he's just, yeah, he's, he's just different, you know he's switched on. He's got a certain swagger about him. He does walk as though he's a very athletic and a very well-performed horse. We opted to give him a pre-race warm-up tonight. We like to get him out early and give him a bit of a walk, but with all the setup behind us, we can't really get him out and walk him. So Gren's taking him out and just give him a little, little canter around and stretch his legs a little bit, warm him up. Yeah, it looks good. Looks bright, looks happy. He's right, he's ready. the most exciting horse in the land leap to fame. This is his biggest test so far. He's got that wide barrier draw outside of the front row and he's facing some serious opposition. He feels like the dream horse that you always want to sit behind. He's got great manners, great gait, great speed and strength. You know, he sort of just ticks all the boxes and even in a trial like he, he wants to go past them and you don't really have to urge him to do it. Like he just wants to, yeah, he wants to win. He, he's got the taste of winning and he, yeah, he's happy to keep trying to put him away. He straightens up, Grant Dixon says go and it's all over. Leap to fame puts a space in them. Dixon's not even asking him to go, he's sitting against him. Could he be the best pacer in the world? Equals the track record and the last mile, 149.5. Well, he's got to have the Blacks of Fake at his mercy now, leap to fame. They're going to give all credit to Grant Trissa. He's managed him perfectly, hasn't over-raced him, but tonight I think it was the icing on the cake. Oh, look, it's obviously a lifetime's work has gone into it. My dad put a lifetime in harness racing, probably never had a horse this good, and, and probably I've only got to this point due to the fact all the hard work he done. You know, it's probably 80 years of work gone into trying to get this horse and preparing right. I'm a world of world, I'm a world of world.